Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install a simple webcam on your Raspberry Pi. This will allow us to have remote monitoring capabilities as well as create really cool time lapses after the fact. It'll work on a Raspberry Pi 3, 3B, or the 4. We're gonna use this with OctoPrint or OctoPi, which we previously installed, and this should allow us to view our print bed from anywhere in real time. My name's Alex, and this is Modified 3D. Now before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get all the latest and greatest videos from Modified 3D. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's videos. Now the things that we're gonna need to do this install is gonna be a webcam, and this is just a cheap Adafruit camera from Amazon. Costs around 10 to 20 bucks depending on the model you go with. Uh, you could use a USB webcam as well. However, we're gonna focus on this cheaper method. You're also gonna need a ribbon cable and you wanna make sure it's of long enough length. Now, depending on where you mount your camera, it could be moving or static. And what I've chosen to do is actually print out this mount that actually attaches to the bed as well as this mount for the camera. So mine's going to be moving. If you have it in a static location, that could change how long of a cable you need. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is print out your mounts. Like I said earlier, we're gonna be mounting to the bed using this mount right here. And I printed this in PET G, it's Iron Red by Paramount 3D. And we're also gonna want our camera mount. This is Primordial Earth also by Paramount 3D. I'll have links to where you can get this filament as well as the STL files down in the description. I'll also have links to where you can get the camera and the extension cable if you need those too. Once you have your mount printed out, we can go ahead and attach it to our printer. This just attaches to the bottom of the bed via the adjustment knobs. Now I have my bed lowered all the way down as far as it can go because I'm using the TH3D easy ABL sensor. And in the instructions, it tells you to tighten these up all the way. So I already had that step done. However, if you don't, go ahead and tighten up your bed screws right now. And what that'll do is allow us to have clearance to slide this on as well as put a nut on under it. This will still give us a little bit of adjustability when it comes to the bed so we don't lose that function if we do need it. Once you have the bed compressed all the way down, we can go ahead and just bolt this on up. Now, if you're gonna be mounting it to a different location, say right on the rails or from above, obviously go ahead and follow your specific instructions for that mount. Now what we can do is go ahead and take our camera and we will get ready to mount this into whatever mount solution we're using. This one just slides in through the back. You take this cover off and you go ahead and place your ribbon cable in and feed it through there. And what we can do is go ahead and pop the black tab up and that'll allow us to slide our ribbon cable in. Now when it comes to the ribbon cable, we have two sides here. We have the sides with the metal connections as well as a blank side. We want the side of the metal connections touching the metal connections inside of our connector, which means we want the blue side or whatever the tape side is facing up and we want our metal side facing down. Now it may be easier to do that without it in the case like I did there, um, but as you can see, just slides in and pushes in. You wanna make sure that that black piece is pushed all the way down so we have a tight connection. And with mine, it was actually easier to come out the top port there than it would be to do a sharp bend and go out the back. But 
obviously your camera is going to be dependent on that as well as whatever mounting solution you pick now this just slides right on to the little post here and that's where we mount the camera to so now that we got the camera mounted we can go ahead and attach this end of the ribbon cable to our raspberry pi my raspberry pi is mounted behind the lcd screen so i'm gonna have to take that off and dig into that mount Now we're gonna do the same procedure that we used to install the ribbon cable on the camera end to the Raspberry Pi. If I take my camera off the tripod here, you can see that there's actually two areas for ribbon cables to go and attach to. We have one down below and we have one right here. The one up top is actually labeled camera. I don't know if mine's going to focus or not, but this is the one that we want right here. Make sure that your black connection piece is pushed all the way down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and power on the Pi just to test everything before we go and put it back together. So we got the Pi turned on. Let's go on over to our computer and go to our octopi.local address. We'll go ahead, pull up our octoprint instance and see if our webcam is working. So as you can see, we got a good picture here. If you would need to ever flip the picture, say it was oriented the wrong way, you can just go into your settings, which is located at the gear on the top right of your screen. And there is a webcam tab that you can go to and options for flipping it. If for whatever reason you aren't seeing a picture, the first thing you're going to want to check is going to be your connections. Ensure that your ribbon cable is seated correctly and it's in the right orientation. Uh, after that, you may need to go into your config files, which I'll make a separate video on the advanced install ways of how to install a webcam. But that'll be for a more uh, more advanced video. This is just how to install it, uh, the basic route. And the basic route, uh, Octopi automatically searches for a camera. So you shouldn't have to ever go into your config settings. If you're not seeing a picture, it's more than likely gonna be an issue with the ribbon cable connection. So that's how you install a PiCam V2 or Adafruit PiCam on your Creality 3D printer for Octoprint. If you enjoyed today's video, please give a subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments and I'll get to them as quick as possible. Thank you for watching. This is Alex. Have a good one, guys.